Hey guys, this is PJ, and today I am doing the long-awaited tutorial on my new rig that I released a month ago. Uh, well, over a month now. Um, sorry for promising that I would do it and then not. Um, I've just haven't worked with Blender in a while. I haven't had any inspiration to do any animations or even start it up really. So um, sorry for not making a video, but people started to. Uh, ask for it a lot more so <laughs> I guess uh, I'm doing it right now um, so this isn't gonna be a tutorial on how to create the whole rig because I did everything aside from the rigging exactly the same and in this video I'm not even gonna show you uh, how to do like the body or anything what I'm gonna show you is one arm but the one arm can also be used as a leg in the same process I as I used in the other rigging video just doing the things that I'm doing here uh, and you can also apply the different IK things to like the head say and um, the body uh, so let's just start out by uh, making our arm um, let's go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad and go into orthographic view by pressing 5 on the numpad um, we're gonna make the minecraft character arm which is 4 wide 12 tall and 4 long so we'll just zoom in and we'll press tab to go into edit mode we'll switch to our face select and then we'll press Z to go into wireframe and we'll hold control and drag a side to the middle and then drag it out to and then we'll select the other side drag that into the middle and then drag it out to and then drag the top down to the middle and drag it out six one two three four five six and same with the bottom one two three four five six Okay, so now let's press 7 on the numpad to go into top view and drag this one into the middle and then drag it out 2, 1, 2, and drag this one into the middle and drag that one out 2. So this is our Minecraft character's arm and I'm going to show you how to get the bends that I had on it and also how to IK rig it. So I'm not going to texture it because again that was a different tutorial that I did and it's doing the exact same things as in that tutorial. So let's go into edit mode here, and if I recall correctly, the way that I had it is just three subdivisions on the three middle pixels of the arm. So let's go into side view and wireframe mode, and on this sidebar here, um, we'll go down to add, loop, cut, and slide, and we're going to put this one, we're going to click it into the middle, and then we're going to drag it up to one grid square above the middle and then just click anywhere and then and then we're gonna snap that to the grid which is shift s and then selection to grid so that will put that on the grid up there so we're gonna do that again and this time we're gonna do it um, right here down the bottom and we're gonna drag it up to the middle and we're gonna press shift s and selection to grid oh i should mention before we get too far um, if you are doing this to start a rig um, texture him first and then do this because if you put that there when he's textured and then drag it up it'll it'll um okay so once we have this we're going to do another one sorry for that cut there um so loop cut and slide down here at the bottom half and then drag that up to one pixel below the middle and then snap that one to the grid also and so we end up with something like this and this is all that I did to get those bends and then once it's done being rigged add in the subdivisions on the back but I'll show you that in a minute so let's get out of edit mode on that and out of wireframe mode and go into the side view three on the numpad and we'll press shift a to add in a new object and we'll go down to armature and add a single bone so that got added in way up here sorry about that um, we'll just, I'm just gonna drag it down. Um, so let's snap that to the grid and then rotate that, oh, sorry, rotate that 180 degrees and then snap it again. And now we're gonna drag it up to the top of our, the arm and then drag it down two grid squares while holding control. And we're just gonna go to the top and make sure it's aligned with the center, which it isn't. So let's snap it to the grid and then move it over um, to the middle. Now let's go to the side view and go into edit mode on the armature and pull the bottom of the armature up to the middle and with this little circle selected, the bottom circle, 
press E for extrude and extrude that down to the bottom of the arm. So now we can come out of edit mode on the armature and we want to select the mesh and then select the armature and then press control P and set parent uh, armature deform with automatic weights. Um, so now when we move the arm around in pose mode we will get something that looks like this and it's gonna look a lot better in a minute once we do a couple things but even right now it doesn't look that bad um, it, I prefer it a lot to my other bends the square bends that deform too much so just like before we're gonna select the mesh and we're gonna go into the modifiers tab which is the little wrench and underneath where it says object armature we're going to check preserve volume and what that'll do is it'll make it so that the mesh deforms less when we rotate that so you can see it keeps more shape up here and that's a good thing so this is really good as it is um, I prefer it a lot more than the square bends um, but we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep going and just do one more thing to it it's almost done um, we're gonna make because that's not very smooth it's just two faces that are bent around uh, we're gonna add some subdivisions on that so just press AA with the bone selected and then press uh, oh, come down here to pose come into here clear transform and then press all and that'll clear transform all our bones to their original position so let's go into edit mode with the arm selected and on the back of our arm mine is here we're gonna select in face select, make sure you're in face select, we're going to select this part of the joint and this part of where it should bend and with those two selected we're going to press W and we're going to press subdivide now this part's a personal preference, you can subdivide it however many times you want um, I like to do it um, that many might be too many uh, I'm just going to bring it down one we'll try that for now, that was twice I do believe so for anyone who wants it to look like mine, that's twice so let's come out of edit mode and go back into side view, press Z, and then take the bottom of it and drag it. And now we can see that it is, uh, let's just get it to a good spot here, a very smooth, well it's not very smooth right now, but it's still a really nice bend and I like it a lot. So let's again select the, all the bones and go to pose, clear transform all. I'm going to subdivide the arm one more time, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, let's go into tab and press control Z just so that we get the regular face back and now we're going to subdivide it again uh, one two three I'm going to subdivide it three times and see how that looks so let's go to the side here uh, I'm not sure how many I did on the rig that I released I'd have to go back and check I think it was this many because that looks that looks pretty nice like that um, so that was three times and you end up with a bend like this um, so yeah I'm just going to try and go one more time. That's what I had on the rig that I gave away, so you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Uh, let's go one more. The only problem is the more you have, the leggier it gets. Um, so let's try this one. That is really smooth. Um, as you can see, they're very fine little, little tiny curves, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, no, I'm going to change it back. Uh, let me see. There. Okay, so we're going to get into the IK rigging now. Um, let's go into side view and then select the armature and then go into edit mode. And just press shift A and that'll add a new bone automatically. Select the bone, snap it to the grid, shift S, selection to grid. And we are going to want to drag it down so that it's one pixel beneath where the arm stops and then we're going to drag it so that it's center with the arm and we'll just make sure it's center on the front and it is now so now let's select the bottom of the bone and we're going to drag it down so that it's two two grid squares wide um, and I don't think that this matters uh, keep in mind I haven't been on blender <laughs> in a long time so if I make a mistake the first time please bear with me um, so I think that should be fine so let's get out of edit mode and uh, just select the bone first and keep in, keep in mind what the bone is called. This one's armature bone 002. So now let's select this bone down here. This is 
uh, the forearm bone, armature bone 001. And we're going to come over here into the bone constraints tab. We're going to press add a constraint and we'll do inverse kinematics, which is an IK rig. So right now if we go like this, we'll notice changes automatically. I'm just going to go into side view here so that you can see better. Uh, if we move this guy, then then the whole arm moves, which is really cool because uh, it, it's e easier to animate in some cases uh, by doing this. Um, so this is the basic concept, uh, but I'm going to show you how to use this as a controller, this bone down here. Um, so let's set this chain length to 2 on this forearm bone, and um, that should be good. Now, in here where it says target, this is going to be the armature that we want the bone that we want to control it inside of. So we're going to select armature, and then where it says bone, we're going to select the bone that we want to control that bone. So th in this case, it's bone 002, the bone that we added down here. So now if we take this bone and move it, we can notice that this bone is now a controller bone for our arm bone, uh, which is pretty cool, um, in my opinion anyway. Uh, it's a lot easier to animate because if you're out here and you can't see and you want to be able to see the textures and everything and don't want to have extra on your bones, you can just select this and move it around however you want to, um, which is really cool. So that's the basics of IK rigging. Again, if you had a head, you could do the same thing. Select the head bone, go add a bone above it, and then go into the add an IK and have the controller to be the bone above it. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you understand this. Um, one thing that you can do is you can edit this and rotate this bone uh, 180 degrees. That can help because now you can see where it is better um, but it's just personal preference so I'm just gonna get a render of it real quick I really do like this style of bends um, on a uh, minecraft rig especially in blender because s thus far I haven't figured out how to get the um, the rigid bends that are at a 90 degree when you bend it aside from having like a shape key that just pops it and you don't see any animation in between um, so yeah, um, what was I going to do yet, yeah, I was going to get a render just really quick. So that's essentially what it looks like and you'll have a texture on it so it'll look even more awesomer. Um, so thanks for watching, um, I hope you understand, uh, and I recently got a website um, that I'm going to be putting up all the rigs that I'm going to be making because I want to start blender again I've just been I don't know if I've been busy or just really haven't felt like making videos but I'm gonna start rigging again and eventually I wanna have everything in Minecraft rigged so far I have a lot of the blocks and special items rigged but I'm gonna start mobs and as I'm making them I'll probably kinda of do a tutorial for them and then post the final product on my website for you to download from a uh, link from Mediafire um, as far as animations go, I really don't have any ideas for any good animations. Um, I, I have one in mind right now that I'm going to make. Uh, it requires me to rig a horse, so I'll probably give that away uh, if you guys want it. Um, so yeah, that should be cool. Anyways, thank you and have a good day.